Thanks, Sigum. Big, uh, big round of applause there again. Thank you. Um, people that might know me, I'm a bit of a process nerd, and what I'm really liking today is that there's a natural flow all the way from origin to we're going to get to the interesting bits next, for me personally. Um, having been a COO, this next presentation, I'm keen, because that, that void between operations and sales and the commercial team, it's a killer. It's a fucking killer. It's a killer from an agency. It's hard. You're bashing heads constantly. So I'm intrigued to see what Mike, the next speaker, is actually going to give insight. You nail that, you nail that, you're going to fly. Because if, if you don't nail it, there's no point, you know. So please welcome on stage Mr. Mike from Dapper Moose. Big round of applause, please. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. All right. Yeah, so we're here to talk about uh, that handoff, right, from sales to delivery. Um, so I'm Mike. Uh, I'm the founder of Dapper Moose Consulting, also a founding member of Inked Agency Consulting Group. You'll hear from another one of our founders, Tiara, a little bit later today. Um, but I'm a project manager by trade, um, and specifically an agency project manager, which I think if you've worked in that project management sphere, know that Agency project managers are a very different breed from kind of your traditional project managers. What you're expecting, how they're expected to work. Um, so I work through coaching project managers, coaching leadership teams, um, all those great uh, aspects that, you know, once sales has actually made the sale, how do we deliver in a way that is profitable? Um, so <clears throat> every, you know, your project, right, as it moves from delivery, or excuse me, from sales, onto delivery, that can really make or break that experience with your clients for the first time when they're starting to meet that new team. Um, and it also really builds that trust between the sales team and the delivery team. Uh, there may always be a sort of little bit of tension there between sales and delivery, but trying to break down that tension and build that trust between those two teams is one of the most vital portions of a project. And at the, that handoff phase is actually the time when everyone in your agency cares least about that project. The sales team, they've already made the sale. They're looking on to the next sale. They don't want to take the time to hand it off to your team. You know, they want to go close the next deal. Your delivery team, they're worried about that launch that's in three weeks and they're you know, three weeks behind. How are they going to make that up? They're not worried about what this new project is going to look like, how that's going to um, kind of come about. So really f making sure your team focuses on that handoff process is a really vital component to making sure that that project then succeeds. Um, so I always like to have a good takeaway, so I'll just throw it up there now. You'll see this QR code again. Um, but I do have a template for this. Feel free to grab it. Um, it talks a little bit about the process, but then is also, just, a ta just as we'll go through, a um, system for your sales team to fill out and really set up your delivery team for success. So during that handoff, right, having, getting the sales team to just get as much information down on paper is vital to what you're looking for in setting that project team up to success, right? What is the client? Who are they? And what do they do? And most importantly, why are they choosing to work with us? What from the sales process really spoke to them? Did they love our design? Did they love our talk about process? Um, you know, were they really interested in our low price point? What was it that really made them come to us so my delivery team knows to double down on that aspect? Because that's the thing that's going to keep them the most happy, right? What was that sales process like? Did they, you know, take a week to get back to us every time we asked a question? Or were they lightning fast? Were they coming back? Because that's the same way they're going to act in that process, in that delivery process. If they always took seven days, 10 days to get back to us, they're going to take seven or 10 days to get back and for you know, design review or any approval processes. So knowing to build that into your schedule so you're not promising to deliver a project in three months if the client's always going to take 10 days to get back to you for every question that you ask. Right? What are we not doing in this project? That is a big one that I think gets missed all the time. From a sales delivery team, what did we talk about in sales but we leave, did we leave out of the SOW? Like, what did we make sure you know, that we're not doing so that your project managers can really control that scope 
um, and make sure that your projects are still profitable. Scope creep, for anyone who's in delivery, such a major problem, clients asking for the world, um, but making sure your project managers are armed to be able to say, hey, we'd love to do that for more money, and we have that written down in the scope of our SOW. So those things are, are absolutely vital. Vital. What has the client agreed to do, right? Are they entering content? Are they creating assets? Or are we doing that? Again, all of those little scope creep pieces, you know, if, it's, if it hasn't been sold, but you end up delivering it, that's just biting into your profits. And that project profitability just keeps shrinking and shrinking and shrinking, right? What's the main point of contact for this client? Who are they? What are they like? You know, are they very demanding? Are you working with a giant panel of people and knowing that you're going to have to get consensus from you know, multiple people uh, over in that merchant? Or is there one point of contact that's going to make this a much you know, snappier project? Setting your delivery team up with all of that knowledge really helps them succeed, and especially if you have a strong project management team, they're going to be able to you know, double down on all of, those, uh, all of that information that you give to them and make sure that client has a great experience by keeping the things that they loved in that sales process going forward. So talking a little bit about that handoff process and what that should look like, right? So we're assuming the deal's been closed, it's a good deal, something we can all succeed on. Salesperson in that case reaches out to maybe your head of delivery, head of project management, who's ever responsible for assembling those teams, and they ask them to start building that team. I know I'm gonna need a designer, I know I'm gonna need an engineer, I know I'm gonna need a project manager. While that team is being assembled, that delivery person is hopefully filling out this template. Again, with as much detail as possible, you can't provide a project manager too much context. It's, it's not possible. We will always want more. Then once, that, once the uh, template is filled out, have your delivery team review any scope of work that's been signed and the answers to all those templates before you have a handoff meeting. And I think this one's key as well. You don't want you know, your whole team coming into that handoff meeting completely fresh, never seeing the project before, never knowing what it's about, because that's the first time they're getting that information. They're not going to have time to process it. They're just going to be looking at it from this, oh, just kind of taking it in. What you want them to do is be able to sit with that SOW for a little while, sit with that template for a little while to start poking holes in it, start asking questions about it. Where do I think this scope creep could actually happen? So when you do have that sales to, to delivery meeting, that's the time when your project team is now asking all those questions of that salesperson, because ideally, we only need to do this once. Once that salesperson has handed this off to delivery, we don't want to have to go back again to the delivery team, pull them off of what they're, or pull them, pull them off of their sales. Um, we want to make sure that we can just run with it on the delivery team as best we can. So knowing, <clears throat> or um, having reviewed again, the template and the SOW to come in and just ask questions. What is this project? If I'm looking at a budget and I'm concerned about the scope versus the budget, those are the questions I'm going to be asking. What are we not doing here? You know, what are we, um, how are we delivering this project? How many rounds of reviews? I didn't see anything in here about, you know, in the SOW, how many rounds of review of design we have? Because I think a lot of agencies get killed in that level as well. They assume, oh, we're going to design this for 20 hours rounds of revision come and keep building and keep building until finally that profitability for that phase of the project is just gone. So yeah, that was really it. I wanted to keep it short. I wanted to keep it quick. Um, I'll certainly be at a table if you're interested in project management or delivery at all. Um, find me in the afternoon. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, thanks so much for having me.